Have you ever heard the visual condition called model vision? Nope. It's not a disease, it's actually a visual scenario that we create for a patient where we essentially take their dominant eye and we actually allow that eye to see clearly at the distance. We take the non-dominant eye and depending on the patient's visual demands, we set that for up close. In a way, our brain can kind of alternate between the two eyes and allow us to see the distance activities or the nearest, depending where we're looking. So why would we even do this? Over the age of 40, we have a condition called presbyopia. That's essentially a condition that occurs to our eye that doesn't allow us to focus our eyes up close any longer. And we either need to put on reading glasses or some sort of multifocal lens to allow us to see up close. Monovision can be created in multiple different scenarios, one with contact lenses and two with surgery, whether that be LASIK surgery or cataract surgery. Now, before you would ever consider doing it surgically, I would highly recommend that you have it demonstrated with a contact lens to make certain that you can tolerate this visual scenario before you surgically get it implanted into your eye. Now, when I'm having a conversation with a patient to determine if they are a good candidate for model vision, a lot of questions are thrown out. Now, one question is, will it make me dizzy? Or do I lose my depth perception? And the answer is, yes, you can, but it's nowhere near to the degree that you may think. However, some patients do do monovision and they can know within five minutes that this is not a good option for them. And then there's some patients after a day or two, it just snaps and boom, they love the visual scenario that they have. If you can tolerate monovision with contact lenses, it may be an option for you with LASIK surgery. Now just remember, this procedure is only something we consider for people with presbyopia. If you're 25 years old, this is not a visual scenario that you'd be interested in.